Hey everyone, I am Bianca. Today I'm going to show you some new Dollar Tree DIYs that you can use any time of the year, but I think these are just perfect for spring and summertime. So for the first DIY, I have these two Dollar Tree items. So I have three Dollar Tree crates and some mini little blocks. So as you can see, these crates are painted white. I painted them already just because I've used them a few times already. I like to recycle my things. If I know I'm not going to use them again, I will keep them and do another DIY with them. I already have my crates painted white. You can paint them whatever color you choose. I'm also going to use my hazelnut chalk paint to paint the little blocks. You can also use brown paint or the antique wax from Waverly. I also have that on hand, but lately I've been really liking the hazelnut look. I'm going to use my L square ruler from Dollar Tree so I can hot glue these little blocks together. First, I'm gonna do two pairs of two, of course, and these are to elevate the crates. So uh, these specific ones I'm doing right now are for the center crate, and then I'm gonna do two pairs of four for the third crate. And you'll see what I mean in a minute once I start putting it all together. I got the inspiration for this little DIY from Pinterest. Now these are actually uh, a mini version of what I saw on there. They have these outdoors. It's kind of like a tiered planter. And this DIY would also look amazing as a huge decor piece outdoors in your backyard or front yard. Okay, so I am going to add the two pairs on the back of the first crate. So the first crate is gonna sit flat, and then these two are going right here where I am placing them, and I'm just gonna add hot glue to add them right there. Once I do that, I will put the crate on top just like this. Now, it will be awesome if you have a mini little level, and I do have one. I don't know if y'all remember seeing that in my previous videos. I have a tiny little yellow one that I got from the command strip package. Um, the command strips are the ones that you use to hang up stuff on your wall without putting nails and holes in your wall. And I cannot find it. I use that thing all the time and I've misplaced it. So this would be perfect to use. That way once you add the second crate on top, you can make sure it's leveled. Now I'm going to place the two sets of four right here on the back of the second crate. That way the third crate is elevated just a little bit higher. And as you can see, I'm using this level. This is not the level I'm talking about that I lost. It's a tiny little one. Um, yeah, but it's okay. I'll find that hopefully soon. So once I hot glue those right here, then I'll add the crate. To finish the look of this tiered crate decor, I'm going to add two more sets of blocks. So the last ones are going to be two sets of five. So I used 22 mini blocks in total. Now 
This would be pretty with any type of flowers or greenery. I just added the Dollar Tree magnolias in the center and on the two outside ones I added some Target Dollar Spot greenery that I've had for a couple years. Okay, so I just wanted to let y'all know before DIY number two that Heidi Sambo chose me to be in her DIY Creative Champion contest. These are all the contestants I am going to be competing against. Now, I am super nervous because these are some talented ladies, but it's going to be really fun to get to know one another through this contest. And yeah, I'll let y'all know when it's time to vote. You have a lot of time. It is not till May. On to the second DIY, I am using two Dollar Tree canvases. They are both six by eight inches. I'm gonna be removing the canvas from here so it's just left with the frame. And what we're gonna do is make a white picket fence planter. And I am just using some white apple barrel paint. Now I'm going to use my Dollar Tree crab sticks. These will be used to connect the frame so it looks like a white picket fence planter. I'm going to take all of them and cut the ends off, but I'm going to use this one to kind of see about how high I want the second frame to be. So I'm adding it right there and kind of checking and measuring that out. Once I figure that out, I will cut off the top of that crab stick and make a tip so it looks like white picket fence pieces. Now that I have that one to the size that I want, I'm gonna use it as a template and cut out the rest. I am using 18 craft sticks for this one. I love using Dollar Tree craft sticks because they cut very easily. I'm gonna start off by adding two craft sticks, one on each side, but only to the bottom frame for now. I glued the two outside craft sticks first because it was just easy, easier for me to space out the ones in the center of them. So these three that I'm adding right here, I'm going to figure out about how far apart I'm going to add them. I'm going to mark it with my pencil and then hot glue these two. I will have five on this side and five on the other side. All right, now I have the five crab sticks on each side. I'm gonna go ahead and add the top frame and then I'm gonna move on to the opposite sides. So on the opposite sides, we're gonna put four and four, which equals to 18 crab sticks in total. I'm doing the same thing on this side and adding the crab sticks, one on each side first, then I'll add the other two in the center just like I said, to make it easier for me to space them out kind of evenly, it's not gonna be perfect. I'm adding hot glue to the top and bottom to connect to the frame. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the whole thing now white. What you can do is also glue everything together first, including the frames, and wait to paint that as well till the end. 
After that, I added a piece of foam board at the bottom of that so I can add these Dollar Tree lavenders and greenery. For DIY number three, I am gonna make four palettes out of my Dollar Tree craft sticks. To make these mini palettes, I'm gonna lay five flat just like this, and I am going to cut off the ends of each one. I'm using seven craft sticks in total for one little palette. So I'm gonna lay one of them horizontally and then glue down the five on top of those. And to finish off the palette, I'll hot glue down the last crab stick. So I have all four of my palettes done. I used 28 craft sticks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my hazelnut chalk paint and paint all four of them. I'm gonna use two of these cardboard containers that I found at Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna remove the lid and cut the bottom part of the container in half. So that way I can place them on each of the palettes. It was really easy to cut. I was just making sure to try and keep the line as straight as possible and not tear it. Just make sure you have good scissors. So I'm going to hot glue this down like this. First what I'm going to do is just add hot glue to the bottom and put it onto the palette. And then to keep it in place, I'm going to add some Dollar Tree wooden dowels. I'm using my stem cutters to cut the dowel. And first I'm adding one to the bottom on the inside of the container. So the dowels are basically just to connect the palette and the container and it's just a better hold as well. So I'm gonna add hot glue in there and place it in there. Just this one dowel at the bottom would be perfect because all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of greenery and flowers in some of the containers. So it's not like it's gonna be heavy at all. There's literally gonna be no weight at all in here but sometimes I like to be a little bit too extra and I'm also going to add dowels to the inside on the sides as well. So right here I'm just showing you how the dowels look once it's all glued together. Now I know what you're thinking, why didn't I paint the container? Well, you can totally do that. I was going for a very neutral look for this video, so that's why I didn't paint it. For 
For DIY number four, I am using four canvases from Dollar Tree, the same size I used earlier, six by eight inches. And we're making a wishing well planter. These four canvases are gonna be used as the bottom base of this wishing well. Now, to make it easier on yourself, you don't need to remove the canvases. I did that because I was going for a specific look that didn't really work out. So just leave the white canvases on. It's easier that way. I'm using this self-adhesive tile from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to cover all four pieces with it. I'm marking it off with my pencil first, and then I will cut it out and add it to the frame. Once I have the tile on these two frames, now I'm gonna add hot glue on the inside right here just to keep all of this down and in place. Now I'm gonna use my L square ruler to help me build the bottom base. All I have to do is glue all four of the frames together. So as you can see, I have two frames that have the canvas on them and then the other two have the wooden tile. So that was the look I was going to go for at first, but then I realized I really didn't like the way that looked. So I went ahead and added the tile to the other two. So now all four have the tile and it just looks better that way and more cohesive. For a better hold on the frames, you can add craft sticks and hot glue right where the frames meet on the inside. And then you can go ahead and paint all the borders of the frames on the inside as well. Now we're going to make the roof of the wishing well. So I'm grabbing 13 Dollar Tree craft sticks for one side. So you need 26 in total. So now I am showing you that I have all four sides of the canvases covered with the tile. All I had to do to add it to the other two that had the white canvas was just paint the edges with my uh, hazelnut chalk paint. And that was it. And then I added it to the front. So now I think it just looks way better this way. And then to the 13 craft sticks or 26, I'm showing you 13 right here. I cut off the ends on one side. I have a Dollar Tree wooden dowel and what we're gonna do is add hot glue starting right here at the end and I'm placing one of the craft sticks with the side that is cut off right here at the top. As you can see, I left the bottom part round. I just left that alone, that way it looks like a cute little roof. So I'm gonna let that dry right here in place and then I will add hot glue to the opposite side and add the other craft stick. So this part on making the roof of the wishing wall is a little tedious, but it is very therapeutic for me. All right, now that my little roof is all finished, I'm going to cut off the rest of that wooden dowel with my stem cutters. Any 
I have a pack of giant craft sticks from Walmart. You can use whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna use this on the side right here on each side of the roof. So I'm gonna cut it off just like this on each side and then hot glue it down. Now I am using four of the giant craft sticks from Walmart. I cut off the ends on both sides. I'm gonna glue two together. So that way it's just a little more heavy duty because I'm gonna attach this to the roof and then to the base of the wishing well. So I'm gonna attach it to the roof first. I'm adding hot glue and then I'm attaching it right here. So that's why I added these two pieces on each side of the roof. All right, the last thing I did to this roof before painting it is adding another dowel to the top right here. So I'm just gonna add hot glue and finish that off just to make it look better and add hot glue and the dowel. And of course, I'm using my hazelnut chalk paint to paint the whole roof. So what I did was cut out another piece of foam board for this DIY as well and add it to the bottom with hot glue, just so it has a base and then I can add some flowers in there. So now I'm adding the roof just like this. I'm gonna add hot glue and attach it. I'm actually really, really amazed at how pretty this came out. I think it's just so, so cute. This will look pretty with any type of flowers that you have. I have three stems of greenery and white flowers in here from Walmart. These are the ones that I just showed y'all in my last video that were, I believe, 97 cents each. And it just looks perfect in here. For DIY number five, I'm not even sure you can call this one a DIY. That's how easy this one is. I cannot believe I found these cloches at my Dollar Trees. I believe there was, yeah, there was quite a few of them and I was able to pick up two. So I grabbed these two and obviously this is something super easy anybody can do. You just put whatever you want inside of this. But with one of them, I'm going to use this Dollar Tree candle holder. So all you have to do, this actually fits perfectly on top. You just stick it on top and that's it. I'm not gonna hot glue it or anything. And then what I'm gonna do is just add some Spanish moss inside, the Dollar Tree Spanish moss, and then a white stem of flowers from Dollar Tree as well. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate y'all so, so much. Until next time.